Breaking news. Bandits gunned down 13 policemen in Zamfara. Hello, my wonderful people. You know, we always use this illustration at Apolline Media that when you take a snake for a pet, get ready to die by a snake. You know, you think, oh, I've taken out the venom. So even if it tries to bite, don't forget that a snake does not only kill by biting. Have you heard of what we call efficiation? Strangling and ensuring that the air you breathe in is out of your lungs. Pe many people have died by play or by, you know, intentionally or in unintentionally. I'll tell you a very interesting story. When we were young, my immediate younger brother was playing with a friend and immediately what they do, they will, you know, use their hand, they are able to hold the other person at the neck. Do you know God saved my brother? We did not know. We were very young and my brother was almost going. Thank God for one adult that was passing by and saw that my brother was becoming lifeless and took the hand of his friend away from my brother's neck. People have died out of carelessness. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. This is what is happening to Nigerian police force, army, military as they continue to play games or pets game with bandits. Breaking news. Bandit gunned down 13 police officers in Zamfara State. This is not in the southeast, though. it's in Zamfara. 13 police officers and three others have been killed by bandits in an attack in Kora Mota community in Bogude, local government area of Zamfara State. Residents who spoke with Daily Trust told that armed men had earlier attempted to invade, invade Megami, but were repelled by the soldiers. They withdrew after they were overpowered by the soldiers then. They then rode to a community along Magani Mi, Dankumi Road, and killed one person and turned and turned four shops out, upside down. Thereafter, they moved to Kura Mota community and attacked the police formation near the township clinic. The criminals were dashed into the they dashed into the forest. The slain officers and injured ones were taken in the convoy in the police vehicle to, in the, this afternoon. I saw several police officers move towards the area. A resident, a resident identified as Kubi, said. The bandits came and straight into the police station and started shooting at them sporadically. A lot of them died, but our correspondent later got information that about 13 died, one seriously injured, and several not so much of serious injury or currently ongoing now. So this is what is happening, you know. When we say people in Zamfara State, that's where the governor, again, we're not advocating for any party. PDP, APC, they are all the same thing, okay? So please don't get it twisted. Whether PDP, APC, there's no difference. Every one of them, they are the same, okay? Now, these um, bandits, Buhari and his cohort are using them, you know, they are playing with them, you know, playing with them like we are giving the illustration of you using as a snake as a pet. This is what Nigerian government is doing. The snake has become the new pet, you know, the bandits, they are the new pets okay you know so these are the new pets very very new pets and so what's happening right now is that nigeria nigerian government has gone ahead now you know uh, buhari is protecting them le left right and center they can kill security operative no questions asked but if this for instance this has i mean we're not saying what has happened was right but if this has happened in the southeast oh boy somebody say oh boy these people i mean you can be sure that by tomorrow a new army barrack will be open in the southeast. What are we talking about? People have died. Things are going from bad to worse. Yet, Buhari keep protecting them. Joe said they are businessmen. You know, an Igbo man who is now in Lagos serving in a political position to Sanwolu. And since then, he has turned his back on his people. Zamfara State is where the governor, you know, uh, joined uh, APC recently so that they can, you know, allow flying zone in his community again. This is what is happening. You can tell that these are not true people who, with true intention, wants to serve their people. They are actually after their political affluence and influence. Ah, if I live, if I if I stay in PDP, am I sure I'll be re-elected? So that's position, that's quest for power, that position that makes people, you know, uh, wanting more, 
yeah Af even even after you know that you have failed the people you are supposed to serve that position of questing for more i want more i want more more power more this more that that more 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 is what has brought you know the people to where it is now zamfara state is bleeding a lot is going on bandit is having a field day buhari said do not touch them they are my pets that was why we gave the illustration of the of the snake as pet when you take snake in as a pet it does not kill you, we kill your child. And now we kill your child because your child is still small and it will come there and tie the neck, tie it tighter. And the thing with it, if you have if you have studied any documentary on, on snake, is that the more you gaps for breath, the tighter they make it become. So at the end of the day, you are strangled. Oh, you don't understand it. Mm -hmm. That is what they want to do to the nation, to strangle the nation. But God will deliver us from Buhari and his cohorts. You know, Zafara State Governor, every one of them. It, it just, it's just the innocent citizens that are really bleeding from what is happening today. Those are the real people hurt. These are the real people, you know, are the, are, you know taking, in, taking in what is going on. The, the people, the masses are the ones who take the backlash of what is happening. So, I mean, it, it's a sad phenomenon that our government today, Buhari, is one of them protecting them, aiding them, and supporting them, and ensuring that Nigerians, you know, if you ask him, I will say, ah, is the Fulanis who came from the from West Africa? How come our border is so porous that Fulanis are coming from West Africa to commit crime in our land? How many Nigerian Fulanis have gone to their own countries to commit crime? And then you make excuse of it that it is the Fulani from West Africa, and you are, I mean, you are apt about it. You just you take it as business as usual. Nothing has happened. Because your wife and children are not in the country, others should suffer for it. You know, this unsympathetic life that we live in Nigeria, where we don't even care for one another, is a big problem. Where you see the other person as, I mean, not a human being, but you are the main human being. These are some of the problems that happen. Because you're seeing yourself in a position. It's sad when a school set holder, that's if he has a school set really, is the president of a country. And these are some of the things you experience. Sadly, it's what's happening today. Leave us a comment. We really love to hear from you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can always get all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. Do not ever allow yourself to be intimidated. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.